opinion alert. I have some opinions on some luxury handbags that you may or may not agree with. Hello and welcome back. Today I am talking about five luxury handbags I will never, ever buy. This video is a tag video, so thank you so much to Les Petite for giving me the shout out. The original tag is five luxury items that I will never buy. Today I'm going to be doing just handbags. It's a little like the luxury roast tag that happened a few years back, but the difference is I'm not actually roasting anything. In fact, I think a lot of the things I'm going to talk about are beautiful items, but I will just never buy them. These are all just my opinions, but I would love to hear yours, so please in the comments down below tell me whether you agree or disagree. So diving right in with handbag number one, it's the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. There's a few reasons why I will never buy this bag. I think it's a really beautiful bag. Louis Vuitton makes absolutely beautiful bags. I love their colors and their styling. The reason I'm never going to buy a Neverfull is because everyone and their dog has one. You go to the airport and there's probably at least five people on the plane that have one, even if it's fake or real. I don't care. When I'm choosing a designer something to buy, which I don't buy a lot of, I don't have a huge collection. You saw a couple weeks ago, I just got my first purchase. But I'm really, really thoughtful in how I want to grow my luxury collection. And so buying something that everyone has has is not really special to me. And I also don't like the Neverfull because of the style. It's just your average tote bag style. I don't like bags that are open at the top. I'm a little paranoid, especially when I travel. I don't like the thought of people being able to reach into my bag. I see on airplanes all the time. People have their huge bags open in the seat in front of them and anyone could walk by while they're sleeping and grab their wallet. Things get lost in big handbags whenever I have a bigger handbag. One, I feel like it gets in the way and things get all jumbled even if I have a lot of compartments and I know you can buy those compartment things. That just doesn't speak to me for a designer bag. I can go out and buy a tote that I'm gonna whip around at the grocery store or going out for you know a day trip somewhere. But I'm not looking for a designer piece that can be so casual. When I'm picking handbags for my collection, it doesn't always have to be dressy or formal, but I want something truly special that maybe not everyone has that I can really appreciate. And when I think of the Neverfull, I just don't get that really special spark. And I don't think I ever will. But if you have one, that's great. I'm not saying they're bad, it's just not for me. All right, next on my list of the five luxury items I will never buy is the Balenciaga Ville Top Handle Bag. Now I know this one has been super popular for this fall winter season. However, I do not like the huge Balenciaga on the bag. Now I know that's part of the appeal and that's totally in Balenciaga's brand and their niche and I think that looks so great with athleisure wear and kind of that casual yet really edgy vibe and I think it looks beautiful in pictures. However, in real life, I don't think it's gonna translate with my style. So I think that's actually a really important point when it comes to picking out designer pieces. Just because it looks really cool in pictures and maybe even on YouTube videos, in real life, things are much more pronounced. When things are styled in a beautiful snapshot, that is one snapshot, one moment in the life of that bag or how to style it. I talked about this in my Gucci belt video, which I will link up here and in the description box. Really Really big Gucci belts are just actually a lot bigger in real life than you think and so that's why I went with the smaller one and that's why I'm not going to ever buy the Balenciaga Ville bag just because that Balenciaga is huge and that bag is just so classic. I think it works artistically, I think it's beautiful, but it's not for me. It is too loud, too big, and it just is not gonna work with anything I wear. So my third luxury item that I will never buy, and this one, this one just cracks me up, you guys, belt bags, the glorified fanny pack. I cannot get on board with this trend. I know everyone's out there talking about belt bags. Gucci has this beautiful looking bag, but then they stick it on a belt. That just doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's, blah. It's totally practical, absolutely. I could see so many times where I would love to have a fanny pack, but it's a fanny pack, but this isn't the 80s. I just get so hung up about belt bags. Some people are putting them across their chest and I think that's strange too. I don't want everything right next to my chest. Like that's where my necklaces go and, and my nice jackets. So I, I really struggle with this trend because especially like the Gucci belt bags, if they make bags that are like that but not belt bags. I love those bags, but then once it becomes a belt bag, I'm completely 
turned off. So I will not be saving up money for a belt bag ever. And I think my husband would make so much fun of me if I did. So while I think the bags themselves are beautiful, the fact that they're on a belt is just, no. Like the point of a designer bag is not to be practical. It's to it's to feel special and beautiful and to have this beautiful piece of art. I, I can't say beautiful piece of art and fanny pack in the same sentence. It's just not working. Next. So the fourth designer piece I'm never gonna buy. And I'm really conflicted about this because I think the bag is so beautiful. I actually love this bag. It is breathtakingly gorgeous sitting on its own in pictures. Like if I could buy it and set it on my desk and just look at it all day, that would be fine. I would buy one, but I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on a bag that's just gonna sit there and look pretty. So this next one is the Chloe bracelet bag. Again, I think they're beautiful in all the different colors. They're just breathtaking and these amazing pieces of art and such high quality. And they look beautiful on Instagram and all kinds of shots, but life isn't Instagram. I know we want it to be, I know we do, but it's not. Outside of pictures, I can't see myself using this bag. I don't like that idea of it being on my wrist because when I reach for things, it's gonna clink, clink, clink. I don't I don't want it to hit my car. I don't want to damage the bag. And then I know there's a strap so you can wear it as a crossbody, but there are other bags I love more as crossbodies than the Chloe bag. I think the Chloe bag looks beautiful in pictures like this one. And I can appreciate it from afar. I don't have to own it to appreciate it. So the last luxury handbag that I will never buy is I think one you may have seen coming. Maybe not. Maybe it's just so out there that it's just flying under the radar. The Birkin bag. I can't. I can't. I I can't. If you can afford a Birkin bag, that is wonderful. Good for you. Again, I can appreciate the quality and absolute beauty the Birkin bag has. But if I ever have that kind of money to just go spend on a handbag, I'm going to be spending it on all kinds of things. I love a good deal. So I'm never going to buy one. To me, it will never ever be worth the money. Even if I win the lottery and I have millions and millions of dollars and it's just like, you know, $20,000, no problem. I don't know if I'm going to do it for a handbag. I mean, you go out into public with a Birkin bag and you are very much wearing a huge Target sign on your back. So I'll never be able to get on board with getting a Birkin bag no matter how rich I could possibly get. But I can appreciate it from afar like afar. So kind of as a bonus luxury item, not necessarily a handbag that I will never buy, it is for your handbags and it is those darn stickers that just are everywhere. Louis Vuitton has them. Uh, if you watched my away luggage video, which I will also link up here, they have them. Like. No, I can't ever get on board with personalization. I do not like bumper stickers. I do not put stickers on my laptop. When I say I don't put stickers on things, I'm serious. One that incredibly, to me, cheapens the look. It is not my aesthetic at all. It would totally clash with everything I own, but then it also really hurts the resale value. So if you ever needed or wanted to go sell the bag, you wouldn't be able to get as much money as you paid for it. So I will never, ever, ever. And if one day you find that I have bought those stickers, please send me this video and call me out. I would deserve it. So thank you so much for watching my video on five luxury handbags I will never buy despite the hype. Again, these are mostly because they do not fit into my lifestyle, not because I think that they're bad. I actually think a lot of them are great and beautiful in their own way. They just do not fit me. So thank you so much again for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you back. I'm Jules. Please make sure to stick around to watch the next video. YouTube has said you'll really like it. Maybe you want to try it out. That's it for me. Bye.